Good morning, leaders. Just wanted to share with you real quick a uh, something from my book, Heart of the Father. It's in the section called Imitating the Many. And in that section, I tell a study I read about um, that Dr. Solomon Ash, he is a psychologist, ran back in the 50s. And he did this on, he wanted to see what would happen to our thinking in group settings if we tend to go to collective group thinking or do we still hold firm to our own personal convictions? So what he did was, it was a simple, simple experiment. Uh, they would come in, uh, he had a participant and then he would hire actors to come in alongside of them. So he had two cards and on the, ca on the first card would just be a single line. And on the second card, there would be three lines and they were told to, hey, pick out the card that most similar to the card on, or the line on card one. On card two, there were three lines and there were, it was obvious. It was obvious which one was the match because one line was a lot longer, one was a lot shorter, and one was a perfect match. So they would bring in the participant, they would bring in an actor, the actor would choose the incorrect one, and when what he found was if there was just one actor who chose the incorrect um answer that it did nothing to the participant but as the amount of actors went up up to about eight and if there were eight people who collectively agreed on the incorrect answer it caused the participant to second guess themselves and he found that 75 percent of them would actually go along with the collective group thinking even when they knew the answer was wrong even when they knew the answer was wrong but because the group thought it was right they said, well, maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe I'm the one that's in the wrong. And this is what he said. He found that even though it was obviously incorrect, they went along with it. And when we are unsure of how to act, we tend to look to the group to guide our behavior. And I just think there are far too many things in life that are far too important to not do your own research rather than simply accept the thoughts and opinions of others as truth. I believe that's why it's so important for each of us to read God's word and have a personal understanding of the truth found in his word. And we got to move away from relying on other people to feed us and make the move from blind faith to faith based on understanding. I like what uh, Andy Andrews says. He says, truth is truth. Even if a thousand people believe something foolish, it's still foolish. Truth is never dependent upon the consensus of of opinion. That is good stuff. One last thought right here is um, I got also in a story here. Um, you, you can read about it. Um, many of you know the story, but uh, so God promises Abraham that he would have descendants uh, that are numerous as the stars in the sky and that they would uh, go to a land that he promised them, uh, the promised land. Well, for several years, 400 years, the children of Israel were held in captivity. He through Moses, uh, they go and they're making their way to the promised land. It comes time to go into this promised land. This promise has been passed down through their generations. They've seen God move in incredible ways and they're about to go over and possess this inheritance. And what they do is they send 12 spies to go into the land just to kind of check it out. Hey, go check out the land. See, come, come back and bring a report. There were 12 of them that were sent. And whenever they come back, Ten of them says, hey, can't do it. Hey, you know, there's some giants out there. We cannot do that. There were ten of them who said we can't. There were two that said we could. And there are two that said that we could. I don't know if you've ever met anybody, uh, but I met several people by the name of Joshua and Caleb. Those are the two that believed in the promise. The ten, I want to reach you these names. I want you to, I want you to think if you've ever heard anybody, ever met anybody, with these names right here, all right? These are the 10 names. I just want you to do a check. See if you've ever heard anybody by the name of Shamua, Shaphat, Egal, Palti, Gadiel, Amiel, Sethar, Nahabi, Guiel. Uh, I guess that's how you say it. But I definitely know how to say Joshua and Caleb, and I'm sure you've met somebody by the name of Joshua and Caleb. Again, back to Andy Andrews, truth is truth. Even if a thousand people believe something foolish, it's still foolish. Truth is never dependent upon consensus of opinion. Um, so I, I just wanted to share that with you today. That's in the section, Imitating the Many in the Book, Heart of the Father. 
Uh, just give you something to think about right there. Get into the Word, develop a personal relationship, and discover His truth. And I uh, hope this has added value to you. Um, you can go out and get the book on my website, CoreyLeeLeadership.com or Amazon. But hope you guys have an awesome day, and God bless.